As promised by the title of this video, I'll be giving you three tips to help you feel better about yourself. Tip number one, perspective is key. Perspective is key because how you take in and process information dictates how you move through life. When I was 22, I was working several jobs that left me feeling unfulfilled. I couldn't pay my rent on time consistently. I wasn't pursuing life, I was just kind of going through the motions. One day I came across a video on YouTube, and I won't dive into the video, but it sparked the idea that my perspective was part of the reason why I wasn't getting what I wanted out of life. So I went to work shifting my perspective. Instead of blaming the world for my circumstances, I started to take responsibility for where I was in my life. My choices had led me to where I was, and if I made better choices, then I could be in a better place. And that gave me hope because I can control what I was doing day to day. Which leads us into our next tip, which is to try something new. When I say try something new, I think it's important to clarify that this can be done in big ways like starting a new fitness routine or diet or learning a new skill or trying a new hobby. Or it can be done in small ways. When I initially started out, I just started by making my bed every day. Making your bed is a seemingly small thing, but that small act rippled out into different areas of my life. And when I started making my bed every day, it gave me my first win of the day. And when I got home after a long day, I felt joy because I came home to a made bed. And my last tip, which is tip number three, is to write it down. Writing yourself a to-do list is like making a contract with yourself. Making a contract with yourself adds pressure to your life, and pressure is what makes people great. When I write out my day, I have a clear plan of what I want to get done that day. The decision's already been made, I just have to follow through. And on those days when I don't follow through, I have my to-do list to keep me accountable. I look at what I didn't get done, and I look at my day, and try to figure out the reason why I couldn't get that particular task done. Then, when I move into the next day, I can strategize and plan around my weaknesses, my schedules, and the things that I learned from looking into the reasons why I didn't get a particular task done in the previous day. To close, entire books have been written on the topic of self-help and feeling better. These are just a, a simple overview of what works for me. If you enjoyed this video or anything resonated with you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to follow me as I peel back the layers of life and continue to grow into the best version of myself. Until next time.